Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales and we are here with Scorpio who is currently down in Druid territory and uh, he's here with his new mate Pegasi and they're tr currently trying to finish off his mission. Now he's come pretty close and we don't actually have that much of our mission left here. We just have one more Druid Wolf to uh, try and dominate here. And uh, once we've done that, then we can consider our mission complete. And it'll be kind of interesting to see. Um, I think we'll probably be able to do it. It's looking like we will, but we'll have to see if we manage to uh, if we manage to finish it off or not. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, if we do finish it off, we'll have to see if you guys have any other ideas for what we should do for this last little bit of our uh, our journey here. We'll have to see what you guys end up uh, thinking about that. So if you, if you guys have any ideas for what we should do next, then definitely let me know because we probably will be able to finish this today and that means we have a whole episode to uh, do what we want. Now we're not going to end up raising pups. Oh, and I think we might actually finish right now. We're not going to end up raising pups because we really don't have time to do that. That, but we'll see okay so here we go so make my day he says <laughs> well we'll see okay he does do a lot of damage oh boy I think we'll be able to do this Pegasi is kind of just standing in the background there it'll be nice when the mates actually have the chance to play a bigger role okay this is scaring me a little bit oh I'm not liking the look of that health bar I am not liking the look of that health bar. Oh, we're gonna risk it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness, you are going to actually die. Um. I, yeah, we're gonna do it. I think, oh, Scorpio. It's kind of, oh, and yeah. Wow, okay then. That happened. Um, how much health do we have left? <laughs> um, we have 11 health. Okay, let's go get food now. Um, now in actuality, I kind of don't think we probably actually killed him because we have the chance to run into him again. He'll respawn just like we would, and with that in mind... I think we probably just seriously hurt him, but uh, I think we better vacate the territory. I don't think we should spend much more time here in Druid territory. We can barely run. So this is a perfect example here um, of why fighting in the wild is no trivial, no trivial manner. Hey, um, don't eat our carcass. Because uh, if you look at Scorpio here, yeah, he won the fight, but he lost a lot of his health in the process. And if we didn't have these carcasses right on hand that we knew were going to be here, he would be in no place to be able to hunt. And in fact, um, we actually, I don't think here... Okay, we should be able to eat pretty much all the way fully up, but... Um, like, if he had been injured like that and we didn't have those carcasses, there was no, there'd be no way he'd be able to hunt. He would kind of just be resigned to his death, honestly. And so that's why, in the wild, fighting is no light manner. And uh, that's why animals would do everything they can to avoid a fight. Because even if they happen to win, there's oftentimes a good chance that one of them could end up seriously injured or even kill, or even both of them could end up dying. Even the victor could sustain injuries that would be serious enough to lead death. So that's why animals in the wild would do everything they can to avoid a fight. And uh, in fact, a lot of the time, so if you have if you have a dog and your neighbors have a dog and they don't get along, as is the case with my dog <laughs> and my neighbor's dog, you might have noticed that sometimes they'll run up to the fence and they'll bark at each other. And it sounds really fierce and it sounds really vicious. Well, that sort of loud squabbling like that is actually meant to avoid an actual fight. Now, if the fence wasn't there, they probably would start uh, nipping at each other and growling and, and, and attacking each other a little bit. But it, for the most part, it's meant to be a bluff. It's a show of strength. It's them saying, hey, I'm big, I'm bad, you don't want to mess with me, you want to back off and leave my territory. It's a way of avoiding a fight. That's why it sounds so intimidating. It's meant to sound intimidating. It's meant to be a warning. It's not necessarily meant... Like, it's not necessarily, it's meant to get, it is meant as a defense to get the other, um, 
the other dog to back down without having to resort to an actual fight because if you can get the other one to run away then of course that's both of you live to live to go on another day <laughs> and so that's how it is in the wild you just have to uh you have to do what you can to avoid uh situations that are going to keep you from surviving and uh I mean, with that in mind, that's why fights can be so dangerous. And I really am looking forward to the new system of Wolf Quest 3 because that's really going to add a lot more of the weight to those fights. I know that's something that they've been really wanting to add with that. Uh, they talked about that in the video, how they want to add more... Like, they want... The fighting in this, I mean, okay, we just... We dominated all the wolves here in the entire map and we're, we're okay, we're alive. We didn't die in the process of that. But that would not be a trivial matter in real life and the new hunting or the new fighting and hunting systems will reflect that. It's not a trivial manner to fight. It's not a trivial manner to hunt. It's in some cases something that's necessary to survival, but it's also incredibly dangerous. And I think the new system and the, the new version of the game is going to reflect that much more than the current one and I'm really looking forward to that because it's going to add a whole new level of weight to what you do. And <laughs> ironically, the last episode I did, uh, right after I finished recording it, they actually talked again about the things I mentioned in the video. Uh, they talked about the death system and possible ways of handling it. And what I really want to see them add for this is a system that will punish players for, for their direct failure. I mean, everybody has an off day. Sometimes we make mistakes, but if you're really out there pushing the limits, if you're living dangerously and you die because of that, then that's uh, that's something that you that should probably be punished a little bit more severely than you make a mistake, you're a little slow to get out of the way or whatnot. Now, it, they did say they're going to be making the wolves and the prey and everybody else more resilient, and so it'll probably be harder to die by accident. Um, right now, you can die in two hits from a bull moose, and uh, they're currently the most powerful enemy in the game. And if you get attacked by a bull moose and you're a little too slow to back away, that's it. It's game over. Now, if they're gonna if they're gonna make it so that you'd have to be intentionally continuing and attacking like that, then that's something I definitely would uh, would in I, that's something I definitely would like to see because right now it is easy to die by accident, and that's never fun in a game when you die and it's really not not your fault at all <laughs> or you just happen to be a little slow it, nobody likes dying to to one simple mistake if I'm gonna die I want it to be because I really made a mistake I really did something bad and um, I really really had it coming basically if I'm gonna die I want it to be very plainly my fault okay we're gonna take down this cougar uh, if we can all right cougar's gonna eat okay we got another bite in and you are not going to um, you're not we're not gonna let you eat your meal in peace you are going to have to deal with us. <laughs> so this is actually a fairly realistic interpretation, I think, this kind of thing, of how, um, uh, of how a con well, not necessarily, but this is like the sort of behavior we'll see the coyotes uh, using, but in a conflict like this, where you have, this, this is what the coyotes will do, the wolves, and this is if you're going to have to fight, um, you're basically the goal of a fight would be to prove to your opponent that it's not worth their time. Now, in a fight with a cougar, I have a feeling the result in real life would go a lot differently, but that basic premise is relatively realistic. If the wolf can convince the cougar somehow that it's not worth its time to stick around, then uh, the wolf will win the fight. Now, cougars in this are kind of a pushover, and I imagine that'll be changing as well as with the bears. I imagine that'll be changing in a new version. We've already seen the new bear. We haven't seen anything about the cougar yet. Uh, I'm definitely hoping the cougar will get some sort of an upgrade as well, but uh, hopefully they won't be as much of a pushover. And uh, that's the same sort of behavior that we're going to see the coyotes uh, exhibiting towards us as the player. Now, uh, we will probably won't be able to chase them down and kill them as easily as we can in this version, but... Um, they will potentially be coming and uh, nipping at us when we're trying to eat to try and annoy us enough that we want to leave the carcass alone. That's the point there, and that's basically what we just did with the cougar. Um, oh, but Pegasi is going after the elk, so that's a good thing. But yeah, basically, in the wild, if you can convince an animal that it, it like if you can con if you're an animal and you can convince another animal that hurting you or stealing your food or whatever is not worth their time 
then that's really what's going to lead to you winning in the long run. Because if you can do it with as minimal of a struggle as possible, then that's going to benefit your overall survival. So uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that play out a little bit more. The, the new game is, or the new version of the game is going to be taking a whole new level of realism, and that's something I'm tremendously excited for because Wolf Quest is already a fairly realistic game. I mean, in terms of what we have already for animal games, it's not bad at all. It's, it's very, very good. But uh, they're really going to be taking it to an almost completely realistic level, and that's something that we really haven't seen in the world of animal games up until this point. Um, it's going to be amazing to see how it all works out, and I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, to trying it out here. And we will be playing Wolf Quest 3 when it comes out. I get asked this a lot. We are definitely going to be playing it. I'm going to be playing it as soon as I possibly can, and... Um, I'm really looking forward to sharing this adventure with you guys. Uh, I think it's going to be very, very exciting to explore the new game together. Some of you guys have asked if I will stream. It's going to depend on when the game is coming out, but if my schedule is free, then I would like to stream. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it ends up uh, all working out, but I'm definitely going to be playing the game in any case. Watch out. That was a little too close for comfort. Uh, Pegasi almost got nailed by the bull elk there. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, the other thing I did want to say is we are nearing the end of the month. We are going to be doing that giveaway for a Wolf Quest key. So if you guys do not have Wolf Quest and you want to get Wolf Quest, then keep your eyes out. We're doing a bit of a scavenger hunt. And if you are observant, you'll notice something pop up at some point in the episode. Go ahead and answer it and uh, put it in the comments below. And uh, if you get it right, then um, you will be counted into a drawing for a free Wolf Quest key. So uh, you might have to do a little bit of research. I don't expect you guys to know all this off the top of your heads. <laughs> but uh, if you guys can figure out the proper answer, or at least reasonably close to it, then... Um, then you guys will uh, be entered into a drawing for a free a Wolf Quest key. Now, just getting it right does not mean that you will get the key for sure, but it means you will have, basically it's like a raffle, and for every correct answer you get a ticket. That's effectively how it works. So, let's go ahead and we'll bring this elk down, <laughs> and um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. So it's been kind of a fun little experience, experiment. It seems like you guys have been having a lot of fun with it, and I will be announcing the answers to the questions at the end of the month when I go ahead and do the drawing. So that'll be pretty fun, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. And of course, free stuff is always fun. So <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh no, no, no! Oh my goodness, Pegasi, that was not good. Um, this elk is actually really, um, really doing a good job of of getting us into a bit of trouble here. <laughs> uh, really getting a, a, a good, doing a good job of staying with the herd. And that's another survival tactic. Are you serious? Uh, these stupid spam calls. <laughs> uh, they won't leave us alone. They, and we get, we get spam calls constantly. Do not get too close to the bull elk. But yeah, so that's something that is beneficial for a herd animal too, is to stay with their herd. Because, again, then they have the protection of the other animals, and it's kind of harder for the wolf to uh, focus in on them. Uh, oh, be careful. Oh, Pegasi. Oh, my goodness. You've really taken some damage there. you got to be careful. She seems a little bit on the reckless side, perhaps. Um, but, yeah, so uh, that's, uh, that's something that can help quite a lot with... Um, if you, have, if you have a herd animal and they're staying within their herd, then that does help them quite a bit and uh, it helps them survive because then you have to contend not only with them but with the other animals as well and uh, there's just a number of reasons that that's beneficial to survival but one of them of course is that then the other animals can help defend you <laughs> and it's why animals tend to live in groups it, it's a very beneficial means of survival and uh, it goes for wolves too i mean there's a reason they they live in packs but if you can separate off the animal from the rest of its herd, then uh, they get into it. It makes it a lot harder for them to survive on their own, and so it's a lot easier to bring them down. So that's why wolves will try and isolate the elk from the herd, and that's something that they do. Uh, that they do tend to do. So maybe what we'll maybe what we'll end up doing is do like a bull elk hunt here or something, and try and bring down a bull elk in the next episode. We'll just bring down a lot of the a lot of the cow elk here. Oops, there we go. We almost had her trapped too. Uh, but we'll bring down a lot of these these cow elk here, and then the next time we can try and bring down a bull elk and see if we can do it. I imagine that will be extremely difficult, if not nigh on impossible, to do in the new version because bull elk are dangerous 
They have very sharp hooves. They're very powerful. They have those powerful antlers. Um, and there's a lot of ways that they could defend themselves. Although, I, I, as I've heard, they actually don't have... Like, we don't have... We ha we've actually never... From what I've heard, we've never seen a Bilal defending against a wolf with its antlers. I mean, it's something we could presume they do, but we actually haven't seen them do it. But it would be logical for them to do that. I mean, I would not want those antlers up in my face. I would not want to be messing around with something that has uh, antlers that are as tall as I am, basically. They, they're, they're massive, massive creatures with massive antlers <laughs> and that's not something I would want to mess with if I was a wolf I would want to stick to the ones that uh, have a little bit less a little bit less protection like a cow elk here and especially the younger elk that are a little bit more inexperienced nah I just missed there we go uh, but yeah so it'll be kind of a kind of a last hurrah if we can do that now because we may not get to do that all that much in the future and I imagine if uh if it is even possible it'll be something that is um that is something that will mostly be restricted to multiplayer because, uh, the, again, it's something that would be very unlikely for, uh, for a lone wolf or for two wolves to be able to do. Even bringing down an elk like this would be very difficult for a lone wolf or for two wolves. Usually you have a full pack. Normally you would have wolves subsisting on something that's a little bit uh, like lone wolves or a pair of wolves like this. Normally they'd be sticking to slightly smaller prey or to the younger elk, but of course those aren't in this version of the game, and so we're a little bit limited in our options here. Uh, but that's uh, that that's something that I think will be changing because of course they're going to be adding the mule deer, they're going to be adding the big horn sheep, they're going to be adding the younger elk, they're going to be adding a lot of other options when it comes to hunting, and so... I imagine that means that uh, the cow elk will be getting more more difficult, and with them getting more difficult, the bull elk will probably also get extremely more difficult. Now, again, this is all pure speculation, and uh, we don't have confirmation. Well, we have confirmation of the animals that are being added, and we have uh, confirmation that all the animals will be getting a little bit tougher. It's not going to be that everybody will be getting a strength boost, basically. <laughs> and uh, so we do have confirmation of that, but we don't have confirmation as to the specifics of that. So again, I'm just speculating here. But it looks like we brought down this whole herd. Now, this is something wolves really don't do in real life. They don't tend to surplus kill. They will kill what they need. They'll eat it, and then when they need more food, they'll go hunting again. Uh, because, of course, every hunt is very risky, and so they can't afford to be taking that danger, or, or that taking that risk and putting themselves in danger if they don't need to. But we we don't have time this episode to end up uh, hunting down a bull elk. So let me know if you guys like that idea. We can go ahead and try and do that. Uh, let me know if you guys think Scorpio should get an extra bonus if he manages to bring down uh, a bull elk. If he should get something that counts towards the uh, hunting, uh, the hunting category as well, or if he should just kind of have a for fun challenge that doesn't affect anything. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. And next time we'll be back to hunt down a bull elk in this area now that we've brought down uh, enough enough carcasses to keep us fed. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, though, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.